Good evening, viewers. Yeah, welcome back to our chemistry class. Today's class is going to be based on the continuation of our mole concepts. I think this is lesson four. And you are flowing with us as you are moving from one lesson to the other. Today we are going to be making use of another formula in the mole concepts, but to based on balancing of chemical equation. My name is Latif Ismail Akombe, your mathematics and chemistry tutor. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. And don't forget to share to other learners for them to benefit on this channel. Now, let's look at the example one. What volume of three molar hydrochloric acid we required to we add completely with 3.25 grams of zinc. One thing we have to note is this. When we say molar, the word molar, it is synonymous to concentration. Concentration, and don't forget, concentration as a unit of mole per dm cube. So which means that molar as a unit of mole per dm cube, concentration as a unit of mole per dm cube. So when we're talking about molar, we're talking about concentration. Now, let's go back. Now, what, vo what volume of 3 molar hydrochloric acid we require to react completely with 3.25 grams of zinc? Meaning that zinc, zinc is reacting with hydrochloric acid. It's going to form zinc chloride and hydrogen. Yes, we can revert back to our writing and balancing of chemical equation to look at the way we got this product from this reactant. Now, let us balance it. Let us put two here. So I think it's balanced this way. Now, the first thing is, what are their initial mole ratio? Initial mole ratio. The initial mole ratio of the two substances we are talking about here, the two substances are zinc and nucleic acid. We are not talking about zinc, chloride, and hydrogen, so you don't need to touch this. What we need are zinc and hydrogen, and the coefficient here is one mole. This is one mole, while this one is two mole. Two moles. Now, what volume of three molar hydrochloric acid? We are given volume of hydrochloric acid. Volume of hydrochloric acid is unknown. What volume to calculate it? Given the molar, a molar mean concentration. Concentration of hydrochloric acid equals to 3 molar. In this case, there is a 3 mole per dm cube. Now, we require to react completely with 3.25 grams of zinc. Now, we are given the mass of zinc. Mass of zinc. Mass of zinc to be 3.25 grams. From this 3.25 grams, which is the mass of zinc, we can get the final mole, the final mole ratio. If we can get the mole of zinc, then we can get the mole of allochloric acid. Because from here, we are told to find the volume of allochloric acid, and we are, we are given the condition of allochloric acid. We cannot get the volume of allochloric acid because only one parameter is given to us, which is con concentration. As you can recall, among the formula of amount is number, is equal to concentration times volume. From here, we are told to find volume of nucleic acid. We are given concentration of nucleic acid. And we don't have amount, which is this N. Definitely the first thing to do is to find our N. And how can we find our N? We can get our N from the given information, the information that is complete. Look at this zinc. Zinc is, the mass of zinc is 3.25 grams. And we know the atomic mass, which is the molar mass of zinc. 65.5 grams. So from here, molar mass of zinc equals to 65.5 gram per mole. So from here, I can get the number, which is N. Amounts of zinc equals to mass over molar mass. Our mass is 3.25 divided by molar mass 65.5. So when we divide this one, we are going to have 0 0.0492 mole. 
That is the amount of zinc. Now, come back to this mole ratio. Our final mole ratio now, final mole ratio will now be, since our zinc now is 0 0.0492 mole, now what's going to be the ACL? Since one mole of this one produces 0 0.0492, two mole will now produce it multiplied by two, or you say, let's say put X here. Cross multiply, one times X, we have X, then 0 0.0492 times two. Meaning that since one mole of this one produces this, two mole will now get be two times the value we got here. So what is the value? So we're going to get 0 0.0992 mole. So the number of mole, amount of ACL now is 0 0.0992. So if this one is six, now we now come to this formula that number of adocleic acid now equals the concentration of adocleic acid times volume of adocleic acid. Our volume of adocleic acid will be equal to number of adocleic acid divided by concentration of adocleic acid. So the amount of adocleic acid now is 0 0.0992, 0 0.0992, divided by the concentration given to us is three. So when you divide it by three, we have 0 0.0330. Or upon three three one. So volume of alcoholic acid in what DMQ. Why is it in DMQ? Is because our concentration is in mole per DMQ. So the volume here will be what DMQ. Example two. Calculate the mass of magnesium, which will react completely with two hundred centimeter cube of zero point zero one molar hydrochloric acid. Here, the two substances we are discussing here, they are magnesium and adocleic acid. Magnesium, Mg, reacting with adocleic acid to give magnesium chloride and liberates hydrogen. Don't forget to know how to write this equation after giving the uh, reactant to know how to find the product. We can revert back to our rising and balancing of chemical equation. Now let us balance this equation. Put two here, this is balance here. Initial mole ratio, initial mole ratio. This is one mole, magnesium, white, this is two mole. Now, let us now go back. Calculate the mass of magnesium. Mass, mass of magnesium is unknown. We have to calculate the mass of magnesium which will react completely with 200 cm cube. Anything in centimeter cube is volume of anucleic acid. Volume of anucleic acid is 200 centimeter cube. Of 0 0.01 molar anucleic acid. That's the condition of anucleic acid, 0 0.01 mole per dm cube. Since this one is in mole per dm cube, our volume also will be calculated in mole per I mean, cube by dividing by 1000. When you divide this by 1000, so we have 0 0.002 dm cube. Now, from here, we want to find the final mole ratio here. But from this information given here, we have volume, we have concentration. If we can recall from our formula that says amount equals to condition times volume, so you can get this amount easily, that is, amount equals to our concentration here is 0 0.01 multiplied by the volume the volume now is 0 0.002 so when we multiply we have 0 0.002 mole now back to the our equation final mole ratio final mole ratio will now be since our anucleic acid this is for anucleic acid our adocleic acid here is 0 0.002 mole. When it is 2 mole, it is 0 0.002 mole. Then when it is 1 mole, then 1 mole will be half of 2, which is 0 0.001 mole. So, which means when magnesium is 1 mole, the final mole is 0 0.001. When HCl is 2 mole, it's going to be multiplied by 2, 0 0.002. Now, we are asked to find 
the mass of magnesium. Don't forget, given the atomic mass of magnesium to 24 gram, from our formula, number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. The mass of magnesium given to us is unknown, cross multiply. So mass of magnesium equals to amount of magnesium multiplied by molar mass of magnesium. The amount of magnesium we got here is 0 0.001. 0 0.001 multiplied by the atomic mass of magnesium is 24. So what we multiply? We have 0 0.024 units of mass is what? Gram. So this is the mass of magnesium we are asked to calculate. Example 3. What volume of 1.5 molar tetra ozo services acid would be required to react completely with 2 grams of hydrogen? We are talking about the two substances here are tetra ozosophysis acid, H2SO4, and hydrogen. So, hydrogen reacting with H2SO4, we are going to be having calcium sulfate, calcium tetra ozosophysis plus hydrogen. Is this reaction balanced? We check very well, it's balanced. So, which means initial more ratio, initial more ratio. Of calcium is one mole. H2SO4 also is one mole. Let's go back to our question. What volume of so we need to calculate the volume of H2SO4? That's unknown. What volume of 1.5 molar H2SO4? So which means concentration of H2SO4 is 1.5 mole per dm cube. We be require to react completely with 2 grams of calcium. Mass of calcium, 2 grams. If you can recall in a, the first example we did, it's still the same way. We have to calculate volume of H2SO4. We are given concentration. But according to the formula, N equals to CV. We don't know the value of N. You cannot be looking for two unknown in an equation. You are looking for V, you are looking for N. Definitely, this mass of calcium, we provide us the value of that N. Mass of calcium is 24 grams. The molar mass, which is the atomic mass of calcium, is given to be 40 grams per mole. From here, I can get the amounts. Amounts of calcium equals to mass over molar mass. Our mass of calcium is 2 divided by 40. When we divide it, we have 0 0.05 mole. So this is the amount of calcium. Now let's back to this equation. Final ratio, final mole ratio. Since calcium, we got 0 0.05 mole. So when calcium is initially is one mole, final is 0 0.05. So if h 2 for initial resource is one mole, the final will also be the same, 0 0.05 mole. Okay, if this is the case, the new number of mole of H2SO4 is 0 0.05 mole, while for the volume is unknown, volume of H2SO4 is what we are looking for. The concentration of H2SO4 is given as 1.5 mole per dm cube. Now, from N is equal to CV, we can get our V, V will equal to N over C. Our N, number of mole, 0 0.05 over the concentration, 1.5. So volume of H2SO4 will now be equal to 0 0.075. So units of volume now is decimeter cube. Now, we can see how simple and easy to use the formulae of mole concept to calculate mole, and especially when we are dealing with balancing of chemical equation. If you are a new member on this channel, I will advise to kindly look at the playlist and look at the lesson one to move with us and also refer back to any question pertaining to mole concepts. If you have any question, kindly drop it in the comment section below. I remain Latif Ismaila Akambi.
your mathematics and chemistry tutor. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you very much.